Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are uh, going on our final day on Lake Hamilton. Sad day, but hopefully it'll be good. We caught, caught two fish yesterday, tough bite. Storm front moved in, weather cooled down, high pressure system came in. It's only like 75 degrees right now, which is really nice compared to that 98 two days ago or three days ago, whenever it was. But uh, yeah, huge thank, huge thank you to Ronnie for putting us up in the condo. He owns, uh, I think, five or six of them. The condos also, the one we're staying at, also comes with a private dock slip. Yeah, locked up and everything for your safety and the boat's safety. There's our boat, there's our minnows. Thank goodness for auto builds car. All right, ooh, she's smoking a little bit back there. We gotta get gas and then, uh, we're gonna go find some brush piles. Hopefully catch some fish. Well, little uh, midday update right now. We've seen a bunch of fish on docks and it's the docks that are stacked up kind of on the bends of where these creek arms go out to the main part of the lake. Um, we, we kind of ran up a separate river system channel and uh, we've been, been seeing fish and just can't catch them, even with live minnows. But check out this shirt. Oh. America. Also, there's that shirt. Yeah, if you want a shirt like this, go to shoptruepatriot.com. Right. My brother's company. Got to support my brother. So we're gonna go find some more fish. Yep. Well, we decided to take a break for crop fishing. Found a little white chatterbait. Found ourselves in Arkansas largemouth. Get her. There we go. A dandy of a largemouth, too. Choked it. On the Pete's tackle, the Montana, I don't even know, a little swim bait. We're actually going to go try for some hybrids later today. I'm hoping that. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. It's a skinny fish, but it's a nice fish. I wonder how long that thing is. We got a thing right here. Is that 17 and a half? Just about. About 17 and a half largey. Not bad. All right, let's throw them back. Let's go right over here. Got rods everywhere. Hey, buddy. All right, because we are struggling to get these crappie to bite, even on live minnows, we've actually, he's had a couple hits, um, loss of it, just didn't get the hook set. Uh, I want to show you what they look like. A lot of you ask, what do they look like on side imaging? What do you look like on down imaging? And basically what we're doing to find these crappie on docks. Um, so here's what it looks like. As we get up to the dock, we're going to go alongside the dock to see if there's anything on the side imaging. And you should be able to, I got it 60 feet left and right again. I should be able to see the pilings. Here's the pilings coming up. Now, if you're not sure, there might be some fish mixed in. I always go to the down imaging, and this is going to give me that vertical view to really tell between what's fish and what isn't. Now, this dock coming up, this dock coming up does have fish on it, and it's got a ton of brush, as you can see right there. And if I go to my down imaging, there's brush and there's fish all over the place. This is the dock we have been fishing, and we know there's these fish stacked up right here but uh, we can't seem to pull them up into the boat. We're just struggling with that, even with live minnows. Um, we've tried jigs, we've tried Aberdeen hooks, and let's see if there's anything on this dock. I think there was last time, but there's not that many fish. So these are the dock pilings coming up right here. And if I go to my down imaging, so these are the dock pilings sticking up. There might be a couple fish in there, but those are the floating uh, the dock floats right there. Overall, it's been a very tough day. Uh, 
sorry about the vacation. It's supposed to be kind of a vacation for him. Come down and fish, and I thought, you know, once we found him, I figured we'd have a pretty good shot at actually putting some in the boat. But uh, we started off at like 98 degrees, then a big storm came through. It's like 75 degrees right now. What are you gonna do? Uh, I know a lot of guys in the tournament have a tough time putting them in the boat. Uh, some guys found them, and man, I think one team managed to put double digits. I think it was like 11 pounds, a little over 11 pounds in the boat. Uh, but we're day's not done. We're going to try to find either the crappie or the the wipers, the hybrids, uh, out in the main river channel. We're kind of waiting for the boat traffic to die down and go fish for those. Uh, so yeah, day's not over just yet. Well, not a crappie. Catching a mix, mixed bag today. A little large, let's have a spot. Spot, it looks like a spotted bass. Mixed bag. Again, we are, we're on a different brush pile. I'll, I'll show you right now on the live scope. So this is the tree, this is the tree we've been fishing. Where'd it go? There's some brush right by this post. And there's some fish moving right there. But yeah, there's the. Uh... Where is that tree? There it is. There's the tree. And there's fish. There's the brush pile. There's some fish above it. But overall, it's been real tough. Even when we do find them, when we keep, we're using live minnows. I'm switching up between a jig to figure, figure, trying to figure, figure something out. No idea. What do you do when the fishing is this tough? Basically, we had 95, 98 degrees the past two days. Huge thunderstorm came through. It's 75 degrees out. It's bluebird skies. It's tough. Tough fishing. There's the there's the brush pile on the live scope. Looks like some bait fish. Doesn't look like there's any fish on there now. Probably because we've had the boat over the top of them. I'm trying to keep this boat in position is crazy with all the boat traffic it's Saturday night. Kinda, yeah. Nothing's really going right for us, but uh, hopefully we got about an hour left to light. We can actually put one more big crop in the boat. It would be nice. Oh. Right there. That's what he's looking at. Almost fish. Did he hit it? Uh, I don't know, it's really soft. Looking at it again. Where's it up? Oh, he's... Get him. There we go. Get him. There we go. Oh, don't let him get caught. Oh. <laughs> no. The one chance. Oh. All right. Round two. Let's see if we can do it. Hold on. Let me find him. Yeah, they're still there. That's what we're looking at, folks, right there. There's, there's the big fish. There's two big fish. So those are the fish we're, we're looking for. Those ones right there. Look for it. Right there. One's coming for it. One's coming for it. Two are coming for it. Oh, here we go. That post, right there, stop. Right on top of him. That's what we're looking at. He's right on top of him there. Oh, one's looking at it. Come on, somebody hit it. Get him. There we go. Get him. Get, yeah. Don't don't float don't float with them. Give him some line. Give him some line. Okay. Okay. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab him. There's a good one. <laughs> you got him. Yes. Grab him by the lip. There we go. There we go. Arkansas crappie. <laughs> yes. And that would have won the tournament. Pro well, <laughs> we would have. Uh, we definitely would have gotten the top 40. Yeah. Got the scale in the thing too. It's weird. 
Shucks. That fish took two hours to catch. That one right there. We're gonna see how much it weighs. Here we go. Throw it in the gill thing. Let go. And oh. 105, 1.0, wait, it changed. 1.05, 1 1.08, it bounced. 1.05. Nice. That is your first, probably one pound fish, right? Have you ever caught a one pound crappie? Nope. There you go. Round two, three, round three. I don't know what we're doing, but there's the fish and they're right in the corner. Hold on, let's pull up a little further so you can actually get a clean angle. That's when they're aggressive. Oh, right here, one pull it right below it. Come on, hit him. The other one's rising up. Get him. Oh, no. Did you miss him? I'm taking that. Nope. Got four fish around it. He's right there. Oh, wait, wait, we got fish on this brush pile. Drop it, it's five feet in front of the boat, right here. Zoom all. And there's fish on the boat, <laughs> there's fish everywhere. They're right, right by the buoy. Right there. About seven feet in. Closer towards the dock. Oh, they're, they're right there. You're around them. Those don't look that big, though. So those are the those are the fish he's going after right there. We got some major weight going on. What? He took it? Dang it. They're still there. There's four of them. Well, that is going to wrap it up on the water. We're going to show you the condo we're staying at because it's a pretty cool setup. Uh, again, I know I said in the beginning of the video, but huge thanks to Ronnie uh, for setting us up, making sure we could stay on the water, keep our boat at a dock and keep it on the water. That way we can go out and fish and film whenever we wanted to. And uh, check out all the sponsors that I talked to at the Crappie Expo, and don't forget, True Patriot Gear, or shop truepatriot.com, shop truepatriot.com. It's my brother's retail site. Now you can actually stay in the exact condo we stayed at. I will leave a link in the video description below. Huge thanks again to Ronnie for setting us up. Some of them have access to docks, some of them have access to swimming pools, but they all have access to the lake. Um, and, and I encourage you, if you've never been to Lake Hamilton, it's a beautiful lake to go fishing on and just boating on. The scenery is amazing. Uh, appreciate you watching as always. Go ahead, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button, click that bell. We'll see you.